What's up guys, I'm Newbie Dave and today we're building a rope bridge. Let's get started. What's up guys, hope you're having a great week. Before we get started, there is something weird going on. I think my house might be possessed. I came to swap out my armor today and my armor stand is like gone crazy. I don't know what's going on with this thing, but uh, I certainly did not do that. So I'm just gonna walk away and uh, try not to get on its bad side. Now this bridge that we're gonna be building today is something I wanted to do for a long time because I always do my outros over on that little hill over there. I usually spend most of the episode on this side of the river. And even though I have a bridge over here, I mostly use that to get to like the nether portal or the, uh, the cow farms or something like that. Uh, to get to the little hill where I do my outros, Usually I just cross right here. I don't bother taking the bridge because it, it it's longer. It takes longer to get across the bridge on that side than it does to just swim. And I'm tired of swimming, so I am going to build a little bridge on this side of the river today. Now, like I said, I want this to be a rope bridge, which is going to be a little bit tricky because uh, Minecraft doesn't have rope. And you've got leads, but you have to attach a lead to an animal like a sheep or a cow or something. And that's, yeah, that's not going to work for this bridge. Like, I've seen builds where you do that, but uh, it's not going to work for this particular build. The bridge is going to be too long to really make that happen. I'm not going to worry about the leads. So instead, we're just going to have to fake it. We're going to have to use something that looks like rope when it's all constructed and put together. And I think it's going to be convincing. Now, to get started, we're going to need something for this rope bridge to, like, attach to that's going to support it. So I'm going to start with uh, actually constructing some new trees. So I want the bridge to be kind of going across right here. Uh, if I go too far over this way, I'm going to be running into the canal. If I go too far this way, then like it's not going to be able to cross that way. I would have to go this way or something. And so I'm thinking kind of right here in the middle. I've already got a big oak tree right there. So that's probably going to be one of our uh, supports on that side. Now we just need something kind of on this side and another tree over there. What I want is like two giant oak trees on each side of the river to attach this thing to or to build it off of. So I'm going to start on this side and I want this other tree to kind of be on the same row. So maybe like right here. Yeah, I think this would be a good spot. Now I kind of covered how to make uh, big oak trees when I made the little tree house over there for the mining villager because I wanted an oak tree that's bigger than your normal big oak tree like this one over here. And this is a nice big oak tree but it's not big enough for what we wanted for the tree house and it's not going to be big enough for this tree because if I just made another oak tree that's that big right here it would be a lot shorter because this one's going to be lower. And so I need something that's going to be taller than a natural big oak tree. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down, uh, I'll go, yeah, I'll, I'll start with two oak uh, logs like that. I'm going to put some dirt and then I'm going to put a, uh, an oak sapling and we're going to bone meal this thing. But if we just bone meal it, we have a pretty good chance of just getting like a small oak tree. And I don't want to do this over and over and over again, trying to get a giant oak tree. So I'm going to try something that I've done before and sometimes works, uh, sometimes doesn't. I'm going to put a block on top of that and then another block on top of that. And then I'm going to put some stone uh, all around this thing. So stone on all four sides like that. And then I'm going to knock out this dirt in the middle so that there is actual space for the tree to grow. Now the plan here is we've created something that the oak tree shouldn't be able to break when it uh, builds. And it's at such a height that it should prevent this thing from growing as a small oak tree. Like this should sort of force it to grow as a big oak tree. Like I said, sometimes this works, sometimes the leaves just grow like around those blocks. Uh, but I've had more success with stone than using like dirt or, you know, oak logs or something. So we'll see if this gets us the giant oak tree that we want. It may end up using more bone meal, I think, because we'll probably like the game might skip opportunities to grow a small oak tree. Ah, look at that. First try, we got our giant oak tree. So yeah, I, I think that worked. 
So now we will knock out this dirt that we grew the tree from and put down another oak log right there. And then of course we will get rid of the stone. And now we've got our super tall oak tree and that's exactly what we wanted. We wanted like the tree level to be, like the leaves to be at the same level as that tree over there, which means that it had to be a much taller trunk. So we're going to do something similar on this side. I'm going to plant a tree that's kind of in line with that one. And this one doesn't need to be as tall, like all four trees don't need to be the exact same height, but I do still want it to be a giant oak tree. Uh, so we're going to try the same trick of putting some dirt on top of this, another dirt block on top of that, and then surrounding it with uh, stone to try to force it to grow as a tall oak tree. Awesome. Yeah, so I think the, the stone technique is working here. Like I said, I've had mixed results with this, but I think the times that it didn't work, I was just using dirt or uh, another log type or something, something that the tree could grow through. But I think the stone, uh, the tree's not able to grow through the stone, so it forces it to become a giant oak tree. All right, so now we just need one more tree. And as you can see, there's a little problem here. Uh, where this fourth tree needs to go, there's no dirt. Like the, the tree needs to be in the middle of the river. I'm okay with that. Like I'm actually going to plant this tree in the river and I'm going to kind of align it with these two trees right here. So if I go down, I'm going to just start planting some, uh, I guess planting is not the right word, but placing some oak in the water like this. And this one doesn't quite line up with the tree on the other side. That's okay. Like the, these two need to line up and those two need to line up, but these like, I'm not trying to make it perfect. I, I want this to feel a little bit natural. So I'm okay with this not completely lining up. All right, so this one I'm gonna go up three and then I will do the dirt. And I'm gonna see if I can get these, uh... yeah, oh, no. Okay, so <laughs> the scaffolding just drops. Unfortunately, I can't place these on the side. So I'm just gonna place dirt on the side. And beautiful. So this took quite a bit of bone meal, like to try to force it to be a big oak tree like this uses a lot more bone meal than just planting regular oak trees. All right, so we've got our four trees planted. There's one teensy tiny little problem with this one. And that's, it's actually kind of too tall. Like <laughs> oak trees don't grow this tall in Minecraft. It's so obviously too tall that it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. So to fix this, I'm actually going to make this thing like really, really big around the bottom. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen those uh, trees that grow in swamps. I think they're like cypress trees or something. They've got like these really fat bases that kind of taper off as they go up. And then they have like kind of skinny trunks above that. That's kind of what I'm going to go for with this uh, tree. So I'm going to plant some, uh, I keep saying plant. <laughs> I'm going to place some oak logs around the base of this thing and just kind of start building up from the bottom and basically try to give this tree like a really fat base uh, like the trees that you see in a swamp like in real life the trees in minecraft swamps don't grow like this and i want this to feel kind of organic so i'm going to uh the pieces on the side here i'm going to make like a little bit taller and uh maybe have some of the corners come up a little bit higher and yeah, maybe Let's see. How does that look? So yeah, I think that's a lot better. I think it looks a lot more natural, like something that would actually grow up in the middle of a river. Now, the other problem that we have with this is there's now <laughs> a giant tree in the middle of our river. So this is actually pretty easy to fix. I'm just going to do a little bit of terraforming and basically like move this part of the river over a little bit by placing some dirt on this side and then just kind of digging out that side a little bit. And there we go. So I just added some dirt on this side of the river, dug out some dirt on that side of the river, kind of dug down a little bit to basically move over the middle of the river. And then I just put some bone meal down there to regrow uh, some of the seagrass and stuff down there to make it look alive. So not, not too bad. All right, so now with all of that work done, we can finally start working on the bridge. 
So like I said, I want this to look like kind of a rope bridge and rope bridges, they kind of sag in the middle. And so we need to build this thing high enough that there's enough room under it we can still get through uh, with a boat. And as I look at this, I miss some, I need to add some more wood to this tree. And I also want to make sure that this thing is centered in between my trees. And to do that, I think I actually need a little bit more dirt on this side of the river uh, so that it's actually you know, centered. There we go. And I'm going to start by, uh, I'm going to put down some oak slabs right there. And then, let me see. This is going to be a little weird. I need to put down a temporary block there so I can put an oak slab there and then one right there. Now we can get rid of these. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of step up onto this thing. And maybe just to kind of help with the illusion, I'll put some... Uh, Oak slabs there. Yeah. Actually, I think I want to extend this out a little bit more. Let me get rid of these. I'll go out a little bit more with these first, and then I'll do a layer on top like that. And then I'll go up another level like that. Yeah, I think that'll be good. So now I'm going to put down a temporary block right there so I can place a horizontal oak uh, log and then I will build out kind of like this and then maybe put some like this. This might actually be too close to the big tree. Let me see. Yeah, I think that's too close to the big tree because now it looks like it's kind of attached to the big tree. So this is why I went out a little bit further with the slabs. I'm trying to get away from the trees. So let me bring this out a little bit more, see if that fixes it. Yeah, so that's better. I want this thing sticking out, not attached to any of the trees. So what these logs are going to do is this is going to be kind of like the main support of the bridge. This is what's going to be holding it up. And out of the tops of these things will be the rope. And we'll have the rope kind of connecting to the top of these uh, oak logs and then going up into the trees. But we'll come back to that for now. I'm going to continue with the actual bridge. So we'll do some more oak slabs on this side. And then, like I said, a, uh, a rope bridge kind of needs to dip down a little bit. So we'll do, we'll start going back down now. And this may seem a little crazy, but just kind of go with it for a sec. I'm going to do um, some oak trap doors, actually, for the main part of the bridge. So I'm going to kind of crouch down so I don't actually open these things and just place them instead. So I'll do, I'll do four trap doors like this and then on the other side I'll start going back up whoops so this side is getting a little too close to the hill for my liking so we can either shorten the bridge or just remove part of the hill and I think I'm actually gonna remove part of the hill because I like the length of this bridge I don't want it to be too short because then it might look a little bit weird so basically I'm just gonna open this hill up a little bit more and then on this side, we're going to do the same thing. So we'll do some horizontal uh, oak logs going this way, and then some vertical oak logs on top of that. And yeah, I need to remove a little bit more of this so that this thing actually looks like it's floating and not attached to the hill. So on this side, we'll just do some more oak slabs like this. And at this point, we've made it to the other side. So we could just stop right here. Uh, I'm going to keep going up because even though the bridge is done, I want this to be kind of a a walkway that gets you up to the top of the hill more easily. And we'll just build this whole section out of slab so it looks nice. And maybe at the very end we'll do some uh, oak stairs because it's starting to get starting to get a little bit long. Now this looks weird just having these trap doors floating there. So I, whoop, and also unsafe because you can just fall off. So to fix that I'm going to bring some slabs uh, all the way across, not at that level. Maybe I'll go down uh, here. And just bear with me because I'm kind of figuring this out as I go. So that and to make it look less weird, I think I'll go up one more level of slabs on the sides here. Yeah, so the bridge part actually kind of goes down and these will be kind of the, the edges, the walls. All right, so how are we going to make this a rope bridge instead of just a bridge? We're going to do that by using birch fences. So I'll make a couple of these things. 
And let me start in the middle. I'm going to start right here. I'll put some birch fences on the sides like this. And then to make this look more rope-like, we'll start going up. And I'm going to make these a little bit taller so that I can go up even more. Like that. Yeah, I like that. So now it looks like it's rope that's kind of coming down, attaching to the bridge. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll go up. Nope. We will go up and over. And then up and over. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So let's see how this looks. Yeah, it's coming together. So instead of it just looking like fences, it's starting to kind of look like rope that's dipping down, holding the bridge up and going back up to these supports on the edges. Now we just need to connect these up to the trees so it looks like the trees are holding this whole thing up. So this is gonna take a little bit more work and I think what I wanna do is I'm going to go kind of up and over this way and I kinda of need to go more up than over. And I'll go over one more time and connect that to the tree. Uh, it's kind of hard to see with all the, <laughs> the scaffolding, so let me break this. So what do we think? Yeah, I think that'll work. So this rope, we don't want it to just go straight over to the tree. It needs to kind of go up into the top of the tree so it looks like it's holding this whole bridge up. That's what I meant by it needs to go more up than over. So on this side, we're going to do something similar. I don't want it to look the exact same. Uh, so I'll try to mix it up a little bit on this side. You know, this doesn't actually have to go up into, like, the the wood. It can go up into the leaves. That's perfectly fine. I'm happy with that. Because maybe it's going, like, higher up into uh, the tree where there's some branches up there. So that actually looks a little bit weird. Like, I'm happy with this side. That side looks a little bit weird in comparison now. So I think I'm going to change that a little bit. Yeah, I can live with that. That's good. All right, time to do the other side. Same thing. We're just going to have some... Uh, have some birch fences that go up and over into the trees. Yeah, I like that. So let me let me get a look at this from different sides. So yeah, I, I think I think I've accomplished what I was going for with the rope effect using the the birch fences because birch is such a light color. It can kind of pass as rope, and just having a lot of kind of vertical uh, fences that don't connect anything. I think it presents the illusion of rope that I was going for. So I'm really happy with this. The one last thing that I need to do before I can call this done is add some lighting because we certainly don't want any spawns on the bridge and it's just gonna look really nice at night which uh, we're just about to hit if this thing is all lit up. So let me put some lanterns on the edges here and I also wanna hang some lanterns from the trees. I think that's just gonna look really nice to have some lanterns kind of hanging from the trees. Uh, you can't have ha lanterns hanging on the uh, the leaves, but you can attach them to the logs. So I'm going to have to add a couple of logs here and there, wherever I want to put a lantern. You know what, just for fun, I'm also going to throw, throw one onto the tree there. Why not? So look at this thing. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like the way it's lit up at night. It almost looks a little kind of enchanted, kind of like the... Yeah. Like the trees that I did over there by the iron farm with the lanterns in them. I think that looks really nice. So this is going to make it a whole lot easier to get back and forth across the river here uh, to and from my house and the starter hill. No more swimming. Uh, we'll take our little bridge here and I think it looks really good. I really like this bridge. Uh, it goes with the environment around it. It doesn't really stick out a whole lot. And it, yeah, I think it looks really nice. So final test before we can call this thing complete. Of course, we got to go under it in a boat, make sure there's plenty of clearance and it's a close fit, but it's, it will do. We can get under it and that was the goal. It's, it doesn't really do you much good to build a bridge over a river if you can't then get under the bridge. So that's, yeah, that'll, that's gonna work. I really like this thing. As far as bridges go, I think this one turned out really, really nice. And that is going to wrap it up for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed this build. I think this is a really cool bridge and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's so much more complex than the simple bridge that we built behind me at the very beginning of the series, but I think it looks great. And it's gonna make getting to and from this uh, starter hill from the Algeros so much easier in the future. 
So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button. And while you're down there, uh, please subscribe so you'll get notified of future episodes as they come out. Thanks, y'all, and have a great day.